Today is all about the Isla diaper bag in Peacock. I've been very excited to share this bag with you guys. First of all, the color is gorgeous. One of the best colors I've ever seen on a bag. It's so beautiful. The color is called Peacock. It's this awesome blue green color that I absolutely adore. Teal is one of my favorite colors, so I feel like this is right up my alley. But I've also been enjoying a lot of other really cool features about this bag. It's made of an awesome vegan leather. Um, the texture is good. It feels nice and strong. There's actually some feet on the bottom of the bag, so that way um, it will be protected when you set it down. You have these really great tote handles at the top, perfect for like quick grab times. And then one of the coolest features about this bag is actually their backpack straps. I was surprised at how comfortable these straps are. They're thicker than I thought they would be. Um, they feel nice and padded on the inside of this um, vegan leather strap. You'll notice I did adjust them all the way to the bottom almost because I find that that's the most comfortable when it's on my back. I'll show you at the end how it looks on the body and how you can adjust it and wear it. Um, but then the cool part about the backpack straps is you just pull this piece here and it becomes your shoulder strap or your crossbody strap. And you do have um, this piece here that does say Isla and Co. Again, this is a really nice squishy material, so it's gonna be really comfortable on your shoulder. Um, and there are a lot of bags that adjust from backpack to shoulder carry. A lot of times when you're taking it off of your back, the strap will just slide right through and you'll have like a super long strap on one side. So since you do have this middle piece here, it kind of stops you from doing that. And as you can see, it stops the bag from pulling those straps further through than you want it to. And that's such a cool idea. It's a great feature. It makes the bag a lot more functional that way. Let me just show you quickly. It is paired with a gold hardware. I did have someone mention after my unboxing of this bag that they thought the peacock color was paired with a rose gold. And just looking at it, I would personally say it just looks more of like a gold color, but I really, really like the gold paired with the peacock. I think it's so pretty. Now there's a lot of really awesome pockets and you get some extras on the inside that I am excited to show you. So let me put it down and show you how I have the bag all packed up. All right, this front pocket I was pretty skeptical of because I thought you wouldn't be able to fit much in here since it is pretty nice and streamlined with the bag. But the way that they've designed this, you have two zippers on both sides here and then you'd have two hidden magnets at the very top and that just like seems to like suck in everything that you have in this front section and just makes it nice and thin but I am able to fit all the things that I need in this front section. Do you see how nice and big this opens up? It's great. You have a bigger um, elastic pocket here that is mesh and that is usually where I place my wallet. Then you have this key leash here which is perfect for a place to put your keys. Normally I wouldn't put something bulky like my keys inside of a slim pocket like this but as you can see you don't even see that they're there I just love how all the things that are in this pocket get hidden away and you don't get those weird indentations um, in this front section so um, the design on this is really great and then over on this side there are two elastic mesh pockets um, they're shorter it's kind of hard to see down into the bottom here but this top one is keeping my earbuds and then below that, I have all of my different lip products. So I have some chapstick and lip gloss, things like that inside of there. And sometimes I'll even throw my phone into this section, um, but that's all I was keeping in there for now. You don't have to always unzip both sides to get in. Sometimes I'll just unzip one side and kind of um, reach in. You see the gusset is nice and wide there. So it is more of a one-step opening, but it is nice that you have the option to undo both sides and really get in there if you need to. You also have some great gussets on these side pockets. So again, zippered down and then this nice big gusset here and it does have mesh on the front and then just a nice nylon on the back. And I'm actually just keeping my cell phone in here for now, but I did want to show you that bigger water bottles will fit. So this is a Stanley um, 30 ounce water bottle. So nice and big size there. And as you can see, it fits into this pocket, which is so great. I know this water bottle in particular is getting a lot of love right now. Just so you get an idea of how big that pocket is, this Stanley will fit right there on the side. And I believe this is called the um, Stanley Ice Flow Tumbler. But there you go, fits great on the side. And then this side is just keeping my sunglasses 
And then I also have a um, hand sanitizer spray down in that section. On the back of the bag, you're actually gonna have two different pockets. So there's this nice long zippered pocket here that goes all the way down. And in here, I'm keeping the changing pad that comes with the bag and then also just a few books for my daughter to practice her reading. But this changing pad is awesome. It has this little elastic strap here that you can just remove. And let me show you on one side, it feels kind of like velvet almost. Look how pretty that color is. And then on this side, it is that vegan leather material. It's a nice big changing pad, but also I like that it um, does fold up pretty nice and compact for you. It's nice and soft, fits really nice in this back section while also providing a little padding on your back there when you're wearing it backpack style. Then you have this pocket right here, which goes across the bag and it goes to about like right there. In here, I am keeping my um, phone charger. And as you can see, there is another key clip in here. So you could attach your keys and toss them into that section. But since I do like to wear the bag backpack style a lot, um, I opted to just throw those keys into the front. I just found that the charger worked a little bit better in that back section for me. You have a double zipper, which is really nice, and they go down almost all the way to the base of the bag. And there's a lot of really cool organization in here. I've been using this for the past week or so, so I do have some like random stuff in here. Um, we did go to the movies the other day, and so we brought our baby with us, and she just wears these little earphones if it's ever loud, and most of the time, she'll just fall right to sleep. So those were just sitting there on top. And then I also have a little muslin blanket there on the top. Let me just pull some of these items out that are not in any sort of pockets. I do have some pajamas that are nine month pajamas there. This is something that actually does come with the purchase of your bag. It's a little Isla & Co organizational pouch. It is that nice like water resistant material. And as you can see in here, I'm just keeping some medical things, some nail clippers, tweezers, stuff like that inside of here. So I love that they have included that for you. That's awesome. Another piece that they give you is actually one that I've kind of stuffed behind here. It is a larger, almost like a wet bag, I wanna say. And this did come in handy. Um, my daughter had a blowout, we needed an outfit change, and so I just threw the dirty clothes into here and I was able to easily wipe this down and wash those items once we got home. So this is a really great item to have. Off to the side right here, I am keeping some little puff snacks for her. And then also down right here, I am keeping the stroller straps that come with the bag as well. So lots of extras with this purchase and these are great stroller straps. You can easily put them on these D-rings at the top and attach them to a shopping cart or a stroller. All right, let's look at this front wall of the bag really quickly. You have this section right here, which I think is great for wipes probably, but since I have this little wipes case, I opted to use it for something different. You do have a zippered pocket right here and right here, so it's actually the same pocket, but there are two zippers, and I think that's for um, the use of wipes right there. But I am just using it for all those um, little things I don't wanna lose, so I have a pacifier, I have a little bow here, and then I also have some socks. And then over here you have two loops. I'm just keeping a tied to go pen. And then I also have this little tool from um, Frida Baby. It's to help like get little boogers or clean under her nails, things like that. You have this mesh pocket here where I have decided to keep um, a couple of diapers. And then I also have my reusable wipes case. And then this little elastic pocket is perfect for my baggy dispenser. This is from Munchkin. I can't live without this thing. I love it for throwing away dirty diapers when we are out and about. And then this whole section right here is lined with pockets and they're actually numbered. So I forgot to show you in the front, you have these numbered pockets. This says one, two, three. And then inside here, this says four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this has a little number 10 up here in the corner. So in number four, this is where I have all of my mix-ins, my drinks from um, mixers. I use these all the time, every day. It helps me get my greens and a little bit of extra energy. Right here I have some lotion and some floss. And then over here in number six, I'm keeping a few more little toiletry items. So I have some deodorant and I have a cuticle serum. Oh, I also have a sunscreen in there as well. Then in this pocket in the back, I'm keeping my Jujube coin purse that has all of my band-aids and ointment and things like 
like that in case we need it. And then I'm actually not keeping anything in these two smaller pockets right here, but I think it's such a cool idea to have these all numbered in case um, you're trying to explain to someone else where to grab something from. You can just tell them in number five is where I have the diaper rash cream or whatever. Just a really cool idea that I have never seen before in a diaper bag. Then over here you have this shorter pocket up towards the top. And then underneath that you have two more elastic loops in case you needed them for something. So right here I'm just keeping a pack of tissues. And then on the back side you have this nice big elastic pocket here. And I am keeping some wet ones and some boogie wipes in there. Then this section is awesome. It's probably my most favorite of the whole bag. It actually comes in and out. It does say Isla & Co. at the bottom. It does have that awesome like waterproof lining on the inside. And after using it this week, I do feel like it is insulated as well. I kept my bottles warm for my baby, so I do have a bottle in here and I'm also keeping my snack tower for formula in there as well. But if you're out of bottle stage, this would be an excellent snack pouch or for like lunchbox or something. I can see myself using this for like go-gurts and string cheese. All that stuff would go nicely in here and it's just a perfect little kind of lunch bag without being too big and bulky. So I really like the design of this and um, easily feed the kids snacks or like in my case, a bottle. The vegan leather on this bag feels really nice and soft. Okay, I have it all unpacked of my stuff. As you can see, it's a really nice light colored lining. It is a nylon material, so it's easy to wipe down and keep clean. But the coolest thing about this bag is the whole entire lining actually zips out and you can easily clean the bag that way. But it does have a snap down here at the base. You just unsnap that right there. And then there is a zipper that goes around on both sides. So you can see this side is now undone, but I need to unzip this side. So there's another zipper back here. And then you can easily pull this whole thing out and throw this into the washing machine. And even underneath that lining, you can see it is still a nice water resistant uh, material. So it's a lot of layers for security and for cleanup, just in case you do spill sp something in your bag. It's gonna be really nice and easy to get that all cleaned out of there. I know so many of you have been very excited about seeing the review of this bag. So hopefully this helped you decide if this is the right bag for you. I will be sure to link Isla down below so you can easily go check them out. Like I said, this peacock blue is so pretty. It's a brand new color to them, so I don't know how long it's going to be in stock. But I just checked and it is still available right now, so that is great news. I also wanted to know if you guys would be interested in seeing the Isla mini bag versus versus this um, full size one. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. I think the mini version is probably really great for like toddler moms or even as a cute purse for yourself. So let me know if you're interested in seeing a comparison of the two and I will try and grab the mini bag for you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me for today's review and I will see you very soon for my next one.